So I believe this market could get an awful lot of people absolutely wrecked. Let's get into it. We are told we're wrong all the time. Well, 12 months ago, I forecast a big crash in the crypto space and was talking about it happening in Q3. So look, I see a lot of comments uh, in the videos talking about the fact that we've been bearish all the way up. That really isn't the case. We have been talking about a correction and I think we've been pretty clear that we were expecting that to happen in Q3. In this video, I want to sort of delve into what we're talking about, why we're uh, highlighting it and uh, all that wonderful stuff. We want you to be successful when investing in cryptocurrency and that is why we talk about this stuff. I think actually we've been right more than we've been wrong and my portfolio would uh, you know, show that uh, in the fact that it's an all-time high um you know or higher than you know the peak of the last bull run so i think we've done really well but let's get into what it is that we're talking about and why we're highlighting it so i want to start here and you know we've got uh jamie diamond's big jp morgan stock sale uh again what we're highlighting here is we got you know lots and lots of uh individuals um you know tim cook uh, offloads 511,000 shares valued at 87.8 million dollars um we've got uh, other billionaires as well sold nine billion dollars worth of uh shares as well like what i want to flag is that you know you're seeing mark zuckerberg elon musk and various others offloading stocks and this sort of lines up with you know our thoughts and opinions right these people don't sell this amount of value of stocks unless they know or feel that something is coming that is a big you know crash it's going to cost them lots of money so they come out of lots of these assets and they move money about now what we've been seeing is a big rally to the upside new all-time highs obviously you know partly to do with the bitcoin spot etf but actually, this is a, a lot to, to do with, you know, the, the macro landscape. And, uh, you know, I've kind of done a bit of an article here predicting uh, what uh, exact impact of Fed pivot on the crypto market would be. And it's really, really difficult to, to basically, you know, walk people through because, you know, it's very, very confusing. But interest rates, if we just start there, if the Fed pivots by raising interest rates, it could lead to a sell-off in both crypto and the stock market. Higher interest rates typically means uh, higher borrowing costs for businesses and consumers, uh, which uh, can dampen the econo uh, economy and uh, the growth prospects. Uh, this could result in a decreased investment appetite, causing investors to pull out of risk assets like cryptocurrencies and stocks in favor of safe havens like bonds. So look, this is when they first started uh, raising interest rates. This was exactly what we started to see, right? Uh, inflation concerns. If the Fed pivots um, due to inflation concerns uh, and implements tighter monetary policy, it might indicate um, that we lead up volatility in both markets for both crypto and, um, you know, uh, stocks. Cryptocurrency often seen as a hedge against inflation due to infinite su uh, supply uh, might experience increased interest from investors seeking um, you know, to preserve their wealth. And again, I think that we've seen this market sentiment. So market sentiment plays a significant role in determining asset prices. Investors perceive the Fed pivot as a positive sign for the economy it could lead to a rally in both crypto and stocks initially um you know again i think we've seen this divergence again you can get a bit of a difference in uh, how crypto and stocks um actually um you know react to a fed pivot and then a flight to safety uh when times are uncertain um you know around tightening of uh, monetary policy investors can flock to safer assets like gold and stable coins in in the crypto market again i think we saw all of this stuff 
when they started you know increasing uh interest rates right now i want to talk about the forecast in so my forecast uh over 12 months ago was q3 of 2024 a fed pivot um now the fed have kind of started you know exploring and you know dropping hints that they could potentially be looking to to do their pivot and cut interest rates now the forecast many people are having is this could happen in may or june and um you know we could start seeing you know the the interest rate cuts now this is where i think that people are going to get wrecked because we're getting this rally to new all-time highs both in crypto and stocks We've got billionaires and CEOs selling off their stocks in anticipation of what is likely to happen when the Fed pivots uh, and cuts interest rates. Uh, I think it's going to make both uh, crypto market and stock market very volatile. And uh, I think that we're going to see a monstrous crash. Now, I want to kind of illustrate what this looks like. And uh, again, I've shared this many, many times. Now, this indicator demonstrates 100% accuracy in the stock market. Whenever there is a Fed pivot, you have a rally to the upside and then you have a significant pullback. If we go back to the 1960s, we saw a 36% pullback in stocks go into the 1970s. Uh, we have the Fed pivot. We saw a 48% crash in stocks. You go into the 80s, the 70s, 80s, uh, we saw a 27% crash uh, in stocks. Again, rallies up 100% of the time uh, for this, right? Now, if we go to the 2000s, uh, we had a Fed pivot. We saw a 51% uh, crash in stocks. Uh, followed uh, by another one, 58% uh, crash in stocks. And then we had the one like, you know, between uh, 2010 and 2020s, a minus 35% crash in, you know, stocks. So for me, we're on that rally up. Um, I think that, you know, we've seen all time highs both in stocks and crypto. I don't think that um, we should be surprised to see an almighty crash when the Fed does a pivot. I think this is very realistic. Um, and this is what we've been talking about. Like a lot of people say that we've been wrong uh, this entire time. Um, but, you know, we called accurate, our accuracy has been far superior to, to, to most, if not all, in the crypto space. You know, if we go back to, um, you know, the, the, the lowest lows in this bear market that we've seen, um, you know, in May, we called the lowest low would be June. That happened. I sold all of my ADA at the end of May, uh, stating that I expected a new lower low. We got that. That happened. And I said that, you know, in June, I said that that wasn't the lowest low and we should expect new lower lows for crypto. Um you know, again, um, you know, we got that in, in the November and, um, you know, that was because of the FTX collapse, which we also predicted was going to happen before the Binance CEO put out his tweet. We were letting everybody know you need to get out of FTX. Um, and, you know, we highlighted to short uh, Solana and FTT. People made thousands upon thousands of percent gains on on those calls. Uh, and we saved people a lot of money because they managed to get their crypto off of FTX before it collapsed. So, you know, we, we called all the lowest lows. We said that we were going to rally into the new year. Uh, we've talked about, you know, moves to the upside uh, and then a Fed pivot, which we have been really open about the forecast of Q3. Could be happening in Q2, to be quite honest. We could get a, a Q2 Fed pivot followed by a crash. Now, I think the crash is going to be quite quick. I think that it's not something to really be too concerned about. Um, but I have got money on the side ready to deploy. Now, um, you know, if we get a 50% correction in stocks, can you imagine what that's going to be like in crypto? So look, these are our thoughts. These are our opinions. Look, nobody has a crystal ball nobody knows what's going to happen uh 100 certainty in the future but we can look at historic data 
And uh, when we look at the, the Fed pivot data when it comes to, to stocks, which I think are correlated with crypto, um, you know, it's a much bigger data set with many more years uh, data, you know, encompassed into it. I think that it's more reliable than a lot of the indicators that we see used in crypto just purely because the data set is not that big. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments below. I really don't know how much uh, clearer I can be about what our expectations have been and what they uh, continue to be. Um, but do let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, mash up that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.